Hi everyone, we have a special guest all the way from South Carolina and fresh from Cannes Film Festival and is also a movie star. Not just a movie star, he's a movie star from China. <laughs> Now, without further ado, please welcome Matt Knowles. Hello. Hi. Yes. I'm good, I'm doing well. How are you? Very good. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity and I know you just uh, flew in from Cannes Film Festival. Talk about your experience there. Uh, well, Cannes my favorite film festival. Uh, just a beautiful place to be, beautiful people, beautiful beaches. Um, but uh, this time especially was, was, was great because uh, my director of my past film, Son of the South, um, Barry Alexander Brown was given a Lifetime Achievement Award, actually two Lifetime Achievement Awards. Um, and we had a screening of Congrats. the film, so I uh, flew over there to support. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of, I know before we talk about the acting part, you are back in South Carolina. I know you grew up there and your mother just celebrated her birthday. So how is it like for you growing up in South Carolina? Hey, South Carolina is a great place to grow up. I'm, I'm blessed to be from here. Um, I really do love it. Um, but uh, I don't live here anymore. Yeah, I lived, uh, yeah, after living in China for seven years, I moved to Los Angeles. So now, Matt, let's, um, I know you miss growing up in South Carolina. So now, you, now you're back there. Um, how is it like to be back in South Carolina? It's great to be back here for a few days. Um, I, uh, my little brother has four kids. Four under four, so I like you know, with them being a good uncle and just uh, wrestling and, and doing whatever. You know, I, I love that. So it's, it's just good to be back with family um, and to be back around Southern hospitality. Uh, everyone's nice to each other. I love that. Now, Matt, how how did you you know get to China to become a movie star? <laughs> well, I didn't go there to be a movie star. Um, Basically, I was injured playing football in, in the U.S. It ended my dreams of going to the NFL. And I just decided to, I wanted to go somewhere in the world and help people who needed help. And a buddy of mine, a football buddy, called me up. He said, I'm in back with China, teaching English in the, one of the poorest areas. Do you want to come out here? I said, sure. So I went out there for a year, started learning the language, came back a second year. And I eventually uh, learned some Chinese songs. And I went to a karaoke hall one day and I sang uh, a song and got discovered as a, as a singer in China. And that one thing led to another and then I eventually started doing film and, and TV and went back to school there at Beijing Film Academy and uh, changed my life. I opened up these new doors to being an actor. Yes, I'm very intrigued, uh, that's well said, intrigued with your name in China. They name you Ma, Ma Tai, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And you've done a couple of Chinese films, such as a television series like Azura, uh, Love Me If You Dare, right. Ding Xiaoping at History Crossroads, and Eastern Battlefield. So talk about those experiences. Like, how is it like to be a movie star in China? Um, well, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I always say that, uh, um, I mean, it's just China's a different world, you know? Uh, especially now, you can be uh, a huge uh, uh, name in China and no one knows you outside of China. And, and then a lot of the stars that are huge uh, in the rest of the world are, are, are maybe not as well known in China. There's specific, specific ones that are known. It's just a very, um, it's literally like a different universe. Um, the, uh, we work really hard in China. Um, on these projects, they, they basically shoot every single day, um, non-stop until the projects are done. Now, let's talk about your role in Son of the South. Well, I, um, I did this great film called Son of the South. Um, it's about the Freedom Riders, set in 1961. Um, it goes around uh, these events that happened in Montgomery, Alabama, um, where the Freedom Riders bus was attacked. Um, and I can say without a doubt, it's the most important film that I've done. Um, I play Jim Zwerg in the film, um, who's a very iconic 
a hero of the civil rights movement. Um, he was, he and John Lewis, their best friends, sat on the, the bus together and were beaten close to death. Um, and that incident of them getting beaten and it, it, it getting filmed, you know, the, the photographs of it happening, and it, it kind of went uh, viral at the time all over the world. And it really put uh, faces to the civil rights movement at the time and really uh, kind of started a, or continued a huge, you know, huge momentum of uh, pushing for civil rights you know, and equality during the time. So it was, it was a very, very important event that happened before I was born. Um, yeah. So well said. And now, with all of these experience that you had uh, being a movie star in China, what what did you learn as a life lesson? Over there? What did I learn as a life lesson in China? I can honestly say that the life lessons I learned in China revolve around the fact that there are really different places in the world, and it's hard to understand where other people come from if you haven't been in their shoes and experienced where they're coming from. Um, and it's really easy to, to, to have disagreements with people because where you're from, this is how things work. This is how the world works. And maybe that doesn't work where they're from. But the only way you're going to figure that out if you don't go there yourself is to talk to them, and figure out what's going on where they're from. Um, so experiencing that for myself in China, just experiencing a completely different world, it allows me to kind of see like, wow, you know, a lot of things that I thought were, you know, non-negotiable, like right, wrong sort of things, I get somewhere else in the world and it's, it's not that easy. It's not that black and white anymore. You know, this world is a complicated place. Um, well, that's well said, Matt. And if given a chance to work here in, of course, in LA, in Hollywood, I mean, who do you want to work with and why? I would love to work with uh, Marcus Corsese. Um, he's a... Good answer. <laughs> fantastic director, you know, director of our time. Um, mm -hmm. if, if I ever had that honor, uh, I, would be, I would be ecstatic. Um, I just, I love um, directors like Scorsese that, that really value the art in in film and and bring that artistry and that craft to the space and uh you know his films just have so many different levels to them um and i learned so much from them, from them. and uh yeah i would i would, I would love them. that's well said and i heard that i know you stayed in china and also you visited the philippines what what's your memorable moment in the philippines so many memorable moments in the Philippines, you know. Everything is better in the Philippines. Um, I tell everyone that I meet that the most beautiful place in the world is El Nido in Palawan. Yes. I spent Chinese New Year there one year. It is the most gorgeous, crystal clear waters you've ever seen. Um, you know, the people are so nice. It's just, it's just, it's just paradise. It, I can't describe it any other way. I've been to a lot of islands around the world. That, El Nido is by far the best. Yeah, it was voted actually the best island in the world world last 2020 and 2019, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Well, it gets my vote. <laughs> yes, and what is your favorite food, Filipino food? Filipino food? Um, I don't know how you say it, but it's like the, the pig ear face. Oh, it's seasick? Yeah, that's it's it's, seasick. it sounds really weird but it's it's so yeah, good it's, it's, it's actually sizzly yeah yes uh, yeah yeah it's so good awesome then and you know uh, aside from this do you have any upcoming projects right now that you're working on yeah i'm um i have a, a really great project i'm flying out to do soon in china um mm -hmm. back over there um and uh, I have a project that's in the works next year here in the state um, that I'm really excited about. Um, unfortunately, I can't uh, disclose information about it yet, but I think we're going to be really excited about it. Let us know in the future. We'll be able to. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, invite everyone on your social media, um, Matt, to follow you. Yeah, sure. Follow me on social media. I'm. Uh, 
Matt William Knowles on all the social medias, except for Twitter, I'm sup Matt William. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, and uh, we wish you all the best in all your future projects. Thank you for having me.